drumming up the sound of the Lord. And now we're going to do a drumming up a testimony. As you open up the church, you think of the motto of the church, open hearts, open minds, open doors. Now with the new virus spreading around, we even have open open outdoors. Pastor Bruce asked me to make some statements today about what the impact the church has had on me and my, my, my wife. Our first visit to the church, we had a very friendly welcome. That welcome really meant something because we had been to other churches and they were treated like, I won't say strangers, but, but kind of standoffish. And people were very friendly, and at the coffee hour, a couple came to us and said, gee, it's sure nice to have you with us, and we'd like to welcome you to come back again. So we did. As a matter of fact, we've been coming back for 17 years. So that friendly greeting has an effect. Now, serving the community by this church is something to behold when you think about it, uh, Joan Mason heads this one committee that does so much in the community and coordinates action not only the community but to the state and nas- internationally. For instance, uh, we have a food pantry here at the church, home improvement and construction where people will come and help you if you have small jobs, and actually some of them with, that work for Habitat for Humanity help build homes for the underprivileged. And then there's the uh, garden vegetables for the poor. Imagine, poor people can go to this garden and pick up vegetables throughout the year. And then there's house painting and, and handicapped ramps that are built by some of our members throughout the church and the needs. And for children, we support the children's home up in northern Florida, for the orphan kids, the children clothing that we give for, computers for the education of kids, Christmas child where there are gifts for kids, particularly kids of of prisoners who are in jail and can't provide it. We do that. Foreign-wise, we have a Cuban sister church that we've supported for years. And that's a wonderful relationship. Many of our people used to go down there. We hope that they can go down again soon. In Haiti, we have an operation working with Haiti to help Haitians change how Haiti handles the folks there and and by giving to people that are in need and not withholding funds that they get from the world. As Matthew 5.16 says, let your light shine before others that they may see your good deeds and glorify your Father in heaven. And this church does that. And that's one reason where we're, Annie and I have been impacted by that. Now, how about the, the preaching that we get here? The preaching that we get currently from Pastor Bruce, but back when Ann and I first started coming to church, we had Pastor Dawn, then we had Pastor Cliff, all top preachers. And equally to them, we have five retired ministers that preach on occasion, and they're top-notch too. So when you talk about a church in motion, a church swinging, this church has it. Now, in addition to that, I had personal support. When Annie passed away, And prior to her passing, or during her final sickness, the church support was fantastic. The pastor was there every 
couple days to, to give us support. And then when she passed, the same thing. The pastor was there just to, to give us encouragement and pray with us. Super from, uh, from Pastor Bruce. And Chris, the sec church secretary, she was wonderful in, in arranging for Annie's final uh, funeral service. And then uh, <clears throat> Marcus, as well as the entire staff that entered in to helping that final service. So when you talk about having warmth and love, this church delivers not in print, but in act action. Now, <clears throat> yes, the church supports us in many ways. Now it's time for us to consider the church in our giving. If you think about the church, this church is 55 years old. And with that, the church needs uh, rebuilding in parts from time to time, the roof. It leaked, windows were broken, uh, equipment goes down, new equipment is bought, for instance, for our audiovisual program that you're watching right now. Without funds to do this, there's no way that could happen. And many times we give, and we give over the years, but we don't recognize the increase in those costs. Salaries go up hopefully, uh, costs go up, not for the same. If you piece, buy a piece of lumber today versus 15, 20 years ago, there's a big difference from what the cost was then and what it is now. And so if we're just giving constant giving on one level, we're really becoming out of date. So we ask that you consider the need for increased giving as time goes along. And finally, what I'd like to point out is that from the time we started this church and to keep us interested and keep us moving, swinging in a way, for 17 years is quite an accomplishment. Thank you.